Previously on Fire Emblem Three Houses. You would best give it your all too, General. Go and win. Be the boar that you <laughs> And don't you dare. <laughs> oh my god. Felix is like, you know what? Go in there and f her up, Dimitri. Go be the best boar you can be. <laughs> Let's go! Well, class, you guys did good. The battle is won, and now things can finally start getting back to normal. Professor! Professor! What is it, Motion Rige? Now that everything's finally done, does that mean I can finally go to the bathroom? Oh, Motion Rige? Of course not. Why? But you just said it was over. Yeah, the first fucking route. We're only one third of the way through the game, Motion Rige. You can't go yet. Oh, no. You've got to be kidding me. That's right. And that was 200 hours, Motion Rige. That means we have at least a minimum of 400 more hours Plus DLC. We still got a lot of game left, Mojurige. So you better hold that shit in. Oh my god. Why? No! Hello! Sneaky B. Back with some more Fire Emblem Three Houses. When we last left off, we completed the penultimate chapter, and now it is finally time for the final battle against Edelgard, which is interesting. It does seem like Edelgard is going to be like the final boss of this game. I did not think that would be the case. I really didn't. I thought she would be like tossed aside and then we'd be like, that guy with the white hair from earlier, he's popping out and now I'm the evil guy. Mega, mega, mega. And then we kill him and then we all celebrate. Final Fantasy fanfare. Woo! But uh, now it looks like Elogard's going off the deep end and, and potentially taking on some evil demonic powers in a, in a desperate attempt to win. I'm actually not even really sure like if it's just gonna be a single fight here though i mean it, there could still be some more fights after this but the setup for i will say does have me feeling like this this is it this is the moment of truth and justice i did see some people think how like um how they found it interesting on this route how it it looks like edelgard is just like oh yeah she just looks like this fucking crazy power hungry person she almost seems kind of evil here um after the, her interaction with dimitri right um because they don't really elaborate a whole lot on exactly what it is. Even then, she was like, like, they just meet and she, they're like, I can't let you seize power and do everything. Fuck you, Demetri. I'm going to murder everybody. <laughs> not, not quite like that. But she's like, I'm, you know, like this is the only way it has to be done this way. Right. But I I, I don't believe that. I, I don't think that's I'm not seeing that in any, any way as her being like this crazy power hungry person. I think it's very clear there's a shit done going on with her that we don't know. And they didn't really reveal much in that scene with her, to be honest. Like, it's Dimitri trying to, to understand, but she didn't really explain much. And he's like, okay, well, I guess I'm, I'm just going to have to kill you now. So, um, I mean, it's clear they're, they're trying to set up for, you know, you need to play Black Eagles. If you want to know what the hell's going on with her, you better play Black Eagles. And I'm sure the same thing's going to happen if I go through and play with Edelgard, right? I'm not going to see probably much uh, of Dimitri or much of his motivations either. That's why they encourage that damn replay value. But I do believe this will likely be the last episode for the Blue Lions route. Um, but I, I do want to stress again that I'm not going to be jumping immediately into another route or the DLC. Not right now. I do need a little bit of a break. We are going to be hopping into a, another new series that will likely be Final Fantasy VII Remake when that releases this uh, Friday. I do want to come back to this game at some point and see what uh, the rest of the stories are all about. See what all these other characters are. The, all the ones I brutally and horribly killed. Which, on that note... Uh, last episode, uh, TJ Evie said, So by the end of this Let's Play, the only recruitable student that wasn't already recruited by Nico, who somehow made it out alive, was Hilda. The same Hilda insisted that she's no good at fighting when we all know she's just lazy as hell. Hilda stares at the bodies of Ignatz, Lysidia, Lorenz, Leone, Dorothea, Petra, Lindhardt, Ferdinand, and Hubert. I am so impressed. <laughs> yeah. Hilda giving no fucking shits. She's the only one to come out the other side alive. Yes, yeah, that's, that's definitely, if there's one thing I've learned from this Let's Play is that Hilda is actually, in fact, truly a god. Maybe has even more attack power than Dimitri. And Petra is also a dodge god. That's what I've learned from all this shit. Like, oh my god, Petra is terrifying. She's probably the most terrifying character I had to fight in this, uh, this main story so far. It was like, hey, here's this character you cannot hit. If it wasn't for Annette and her amazingly lucky shot that killed her in a single hit, she might have murdered us all. But anyway, TJEV, thank you so much for your hilarious and honestly truthful comment. And it is for that reason you are comment today. <coughs> By the way, so you guys did tell me, apparently that, uh, that scene with, uh, with baby Dimitri and Edelgard talking to each other, 
uh that was actually chris hackney voicing dimitri holy fuck that man has some hella range damn i cannot believe that just like just hearing his voice up to this point i was like and then hearing that it sounds so different and so like like just out of the side of his wheelhouse i'm like there's no way that could have been chris hackney damn man that guy's up <laughs> that guy is us got some serious range that's terrifying i think the guy said also that might have been also edelgard's original voice actress voicing her too which again very impressive what was really impressive was that he managed to he actually managed to like to do that and while still being able to emote to a certain extent which is very hard you know like for example talking about myself you know trying to voice uh higher noted characters it can be very difficult to get like certain emotions and stuff out of them because you are you know already making your voice in a way that's already sort of different from its usual thing you know so it's like getting to that point and then emoting to that extent especially for what was a very young child he was trying to voice and the voice he picked, you know, it worked. It was very appropriate for like a kid his age. It's why I couldn't believe he did that. So, uh, damn props to Chris Hackney though, man. I didn't, I don't think I've ever heard his voice, uh, or any of his work in any game before this. I, I don't think maybe he's popped in at some point. I just didn't realize it was him, but he's definitely gonna be someone I'm gonna be like fucking trying to emulate. Cause he was fantastic. This game, he did such an amazing job with Dimitri. I love Dimitri now and his voice actor, <laughs> but all right, guys. This is it, the moment of truth and justice. We're like 50 episodes into this series and uh, we're just just now finally finishing a single route of this massive game. Um, all right, well, let's see how it ends. I, I'm, I'm gonna just throw my predictions out here. I do not see Edelgard surviving this, not this route. Um, I'm not sure Dimitri would survive Edelgard's route, but I also think in Edelgard's route, I don't think Dimitri's actually gonna be much of a focus, to be honest. I think it's clear here that Dimitri was a much more much more focused on Edelgar than Edelgar was on Dimitri. Like Dimitri's just kind of like a like a eh, he's just kind of there, you know, like might get in her way, but whatever. It's not like she's not out there hounding trying to kill Dimitri. She's trying to do her own shit, right? Um while Dimitri's like, ah, oh, fuck that bitch. But I, I don't see her surviving, at least not in this route. But let's find out. Alright, guys. The final chapter and the potentially final battle or series of battles. What we got? Part 2. Azure Moon. Verdant Rain Moon. Oath of the Dagger. Oath of the Moon. <laughs> Moony Moon Moon. That's a lot of moons. After storming the streets of Enbar and bringing Imperial forces to it's the same image from, image from last month. Army surrounds the Imperial Palace. But the enemy that awaits them there is not the Edelgard they once knew. But a final bossy kind of Edelgard. Hey guys, check out my new tentacles! <laughs> ah, oh god! Demetri, get down! The head is gonna get you! Clash at the Imperial Capital! Ba ba bum ba ba bum We have annihilated Enbar's army. If we strike her down now, this war will finally be over. I imagine she intends to keep fighting until the bitter end. If this is the end she has chosen, it is my responsibility to see it through with her. You're right, Dimitri. But you're sitting out this fight. What? <laughs> Isn't that so, Emperor of Adrestia? We have no choice but to destroy each other. Such is the destiny we were born to. That is why I will now rise up to answer her iron will with the bite of my lance. Aaron Barr! I will protect you at all costs. We will both live to see tomorrow. Your Majesty. Your Majesty! <laughs> If the king falls here, that would mean my father's and brother's deaths were in vain. He actually told me apparently the, the thing he said before about him go be the best boar you can be is actually different if you don't have him at like A rank with Felix. Uh, it's like just like, hey, don't die out there or something. Like it's a little more like, I don't know, I guess tame or just generic, uh, which is interesting. Like amazing that they would do something like that, you know, like again, that's such a small detail that literally hardly anyone's going to fucking notice. But they did it anyway. And I love that. That's, that's, this game is just chock full of so many little details. Renato, Christoph, everyone, I will not lose. Well, if I were to die now, I'd have a lot to explain to my brother. <laughs> I'd have a lot to explain all the ladies I left behind. All will be okay. I know we can win. I won't falter. 
no matter who we're facing. I won't be a sad sack of shit like my pit dead beat dad. For all those yeah, Gilbert's there too. This war, we cannot lose. Let's win this. Huzzah, Blue Lions. Hope. Onward to our final battle. Jesus Christ! My problems cannot be stopped, no matter how many people try. Damn! What? Hegemon Edelgard! <laughs> Ew, Edelgard, you gonna see some better days! Ugh! Ugh! Wow, you fucked yourself up so much that you don't even talk with your mouth anymore. Ugh! So, like, how did. Like, you beat us, then what? You're gonna go on be the weird, creepy alien queen that everyone worships? They're like, what the hell? I don't remember voting for you! Shut up, maggot! The war Ugh! This is definitely not what I was expecting, I gotta say, though. Not expecting her to turn into this weird alien thing. Seriously, ugh, her face looks weird. It looks like crumbly bits of cookies on her face or something. I don't know, it's weird. But they're fused into her skin. It's all wrinkly, too. <laughs> the reason we're like, I've come for you, and I go, oh, God. <laughs> Ew, gross. No, never mind, I'm out. I don't predict, like, in, for example, if we were to Edelgard's route, I don't predict that uh, Edelgard would, like, that Dimitri would turn into some demon form or something. I, I actually don't think he's going to be too much of a focus on hers. Um, but... Uh, okay, where is she? Holy fuck, she is way back here. Oh my god. Crush the flame's power. Just hanging out in the back. They're big weird arms. Oh, the music's getting real too. Hegemon Husk. So she actually got she's got a singular shield around herself. And uh oh god, many bars of HP. Actually, the, this is the most bars of HP anyone's had. She's got a grand total of four. Counting the one that once you break all these, and she's got her final bar of health. Um her stats aren't insane. The charm is high, but everything else is, seems pretty normal. Oh, hey, it's in the theme. Yeah! Level 45. Dude, she's less, she's a less level than the Death Knight was. I just want to throw that out there. The final boss is still weaker than what the Death Knight was. <laughs> Not either fuck. Hagar transformed by archaic methods into a grotesque form. She's now able to use the full and unbridled power of her crest. Ugh. Um... As well as Imperial Lineage Plus. Oh, wait, is this... Uh, if unit takes no action, France plus four resistance. I don't know if that's what that actually normally is. Um, allows you to take two actions in one turn. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> that's actually very not good. Nullifies instant death effects. Stats, yeah, okay, that's the same thing. Monster effect. Nullify any extra effectiveness against monsters. And counterattack. Ooh, I gotta say, it's gonna suck if you would get through all these guys around here to get to this... Just to her and only to fail. <laughs> I gotta say, so uh, I definitely. She seems tough, like really tough, actually. So I don't want to use up trying not to use too much of my uh, divine pulses before I get there. There are quite a few enemies. Uh, this guy looks actually kind of different than usual, doesn't he? It's like the other dem demonic thing, but now he's got like a an additional mask, alter demonic de dem demonic beast, and they've got ninjas. Oh, ew, the mysterious soldiers. Those, those who slither in the dark. What the fuck? Mysterious group working in the shadows to sway the faith and leadership of Fodland. Are those... Is that the same thing that uh, Kranya and What's-His-Face were part of? I, th I think it was. That's all is who... Oh, that's all is here. Oh, wait, no. There's the there's some Madrusty Empire people. <laughs> They're like, uh, who are these guys? We've also got a fuck ton of chests in here. What? Is there any point in getting them, though? I mean, I suppose I could get it and then possibly trade to somebody else to use in the fight, but I mean, if, if this is it, I mean, maybe there's some more after it. <laughs> oh God, oh God, I just realized. Oh, what the fuck? How far is her attack range? I can't even see, is it? Oh no, could she attack me from anywhere? Oh no. Oh no, is she gonna be sniping me this whole fucking time? Ugh. <laughs> I think she has the full coverage of this map. Oh, that is, uh, that is very not good. She can attack twice, too. I don't know if I should even fuck with these chests, honestly. I was thinking, I was like, ah, oh, well, I'll kill, try to kill everybody, but, and make my way over to her, but, um, I don't know. It's actually might be better just to go straight for her. 
I try to ignore as many of these guys as I can because like I can't I can't wait can I zoom out zoom out more oh I can uh yeah I'd say that's a uh, damn near full coverage of the map <laughs> that is so ridiculous oh hey I can do this like this there we go it's funny I Hey, look, I'm still, even at the end of the game, guys, I'm still learning shit. So if I, okay, if I totally back out, I can actually see someone's attack distance like this on this map. So it does. It actually does extend all the way to me, but there are some corners that I can um, avoid it if I move to the, the left and right, which I actually may want to do and just have the other guys come to me so that I'm not getting hit by her. All this shit's happening <laughs> and unable to do anything. I think even with my uh, with my move that allows me to counterattack from like far, really far away, I don't think that would reach her. Like, what is it, right? The yeah, allies can counterattack from when they are attacked from their outside their usual range for five turns. Oh wait, 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 wait! No, no. Oh, okay. No, there isn't a limit to it. They can attack from outside their usual range for five turns. I remember there being a number there, but I thought it was it meant like a, a distance of five, right? Like five uh, squares. Um, but no, five turns. Hmm. So it could be useful. Well, maybe. Just did her counter uh, attack thing? Does this does this nullify that? Her shit over here. She can counter attack from a distance. Um, I don't think so. So we might be able to do it. She might be able to. If maybe if I do like uh, Dimitri or something. I mean, he, he would be able to counter attack with like his super dank ship, but at the same time, he'd also still get hit, and he would probably lose his uh, battalion. Oh god, there's only seriously Dimitri could take a, like a one more hit. Which really blows, so I didn't really get a good chance to make use of his uh of his dank combo move. Because I can bring twelve people into this fight. It'd actually be really funny if you could actually just basically like give Dimitri the counterattack thing from any any distance and have Edelgard just attack you from a distance, but then she you, he counterattacks back and kills her that way. We don't even get all the way over there. I am actually kinda curious about this. If I can do that. She can attack me from any distance. I'm also curious to see if I, if I just put the counterattack on everybody and have them uh, fight back that way. I don't know. This might be a bit of a test just to see what happens if I do that. All right, we're gonna give this a try. I, I do kind of, this is gonna be a little bit of a test. And if this doesn't work, then I'm gonna probably just restart, but let's see what happens. Defeat the enemy commander. Don't die. Edelgard must be in the throne room. I would love nothing more than to charge in and settle this once and for all. But we must be mindful of the surrounding forces. Strange. The mages don't seem to be wearing their usual Imperial uniforms. Ah. We cannot allow our grand ambition to be stopped by these beasts. Mizen. Okay. Um. Jesus Christ, the distance. Yep, that's... That's Edelgard attacking Flane right there. Way the fuck out in the distance. Okay. So I'm going to put my heaviest hitters right here, and then I'm going to give them the counterattack move, and we're going to see what happens. So, uh, Flane is a very heavy hitter, and then everybody else I'm going to try to just get out of the, the fucking way. Okay. Everybody, power up. She'll only attack one person at a time, I think, but. Okay, do you see? see, we do have a spot like right here. We have a few spots where nobody can get anyone. I'm just gonna move them out of here. All right, let's uh, see what happens here. Oh God, your mouth doesn't move. Jesus Christ, Edelgard. Chuck a fucking ball at her. Yeah, and you missed. Where did that attack come from? If we do not find out, we have no chance of avoiding it. We're in danger. <laughs> I'm in danger. <laughs> what the hell? Why didn't she counterattack? Oh, it doesn't work. Oh, for Lady Rhea. Going for the kill, Going for the kill bitch! <laughs> Sending their numbers. <sighs> doesn't work. Damn it, that was sick. I don't know exactly why it doesn't work, though, to be honest. 
Oh yeah, her, actually, let's check her crest. Yeah, it's, it's still the same. Occasional restores HP equal to 30% of the damage dealt. Jesus. Maybe the commander thing nullifies it? Greatly reduces damage from enemy. I mean, it doesn't say anything about stopping that. Unless maybe there is a range to this counterattack, but it did sound like from the Gambit description that this could, should be able to hit them from any distance. Uh, I'm kind of pissed by that. <laughs> I mean, it'd be one thing if it actually said here, oh yeah, that that is not possible. Like, they, like she has something that blocks against that. Then I like, I get it. But it, it, I, I see no reason why that shouldn't work. Damn, this guy's actually got quite a bit of range on him too. I guess this guy's actually got a name? Even though he looks like just a generic dude. Yeah, I'm a serious soldier. This guy's Mycin. Do they all have a range to them? No, just seems like that guy. Boy X, highest tier of dark magic. Those hit are left with one HP. Fuck me, man. Let me try something here. Let's go in and kill this asshole. She have high. Re she has decently high resistance. Um, highest resistance out of everybody. Kill this guy. Oh shit! Sorry. We will return this world to mortal hands. May that filthy race of beasts wither and die. Die, dickhead! A curse upon those damned beasts. Wow, I even had a death quote. Good for you, man. My son. Everyone retreat! We cannot sacrifice our goal! Oh. Oh my god, are you serious? <gasps> cool! That's right, run, bitches! Oh my god, all the wizards are gone? <sighs> wow, okay, that's, um... That was helpful. The mages are retreating. So, they weren't Imperial troops after all. I suppose it's no use trying to think things through. All that's left is to move I suppose he's trying to figure out this fucking plot line. Let's just go kill her. Wow. Okay. Cool. Um. Now I just hope I can get her to not die. Ooh, there's a fucking archer over there. Just to fucking hit her? Seriously? Oh, well, it's definitely uh, worth doing, I think. Ooh. Though that said, I don't see her getting out of this. Uh, well, she's got 41% chance of dodging some of this shit, so maybe? This guy's zero. Really be great if you get him a critical hit. Okay, I guess not. Take some of the pressure off, maybe. Oh, come on, Sedith, you motherfucker. Kill this guy. He's right there. Fuck, dude. Check the spear at his ass. Cut that mage down. Where do I start? Where do I start? Fighting is what I do. Going for the kill! And she's dead. Okay, now will I survive this? Uh... Ha! <laughs> she just chucks like a fucking baseball at her. Eat this! <laughs> okay, at least the hit rate is not very high. Oh, God. Miss. Got him that time. But he's dead. That's what you get. That's what you get, bitch! Okay. Uh, these guys are coming. Going for, Going for the kill! How dare you touch me? Feels good to fight for our cause. Thank you for dodging. Thank you for dodging. Going for the, Going for the fucking kill! Yeah! <laughs> okay, I still think she might. Oh wait, wait, wait! Is that all? Repent from the grave. I'll never back down. Oh god, oh god. RG's been with me so far. Uh, uh, oh god, he's powering up! Here comes this arch of dickhead! Uh, oh my god, I lived! <laughs> okay, that was a serious gamble. A serious gambit. Jesus Christ, okay. Okay, you guys just need to get out of here now. Oh lord, these cats are coming though. These cats are coming! Heal. Oh, fuck yeah. Damn, the Crest of Sethlene. Thanks, Crest of Sethlene. What does that do again? What does that do, like, extra healing? Uh, sometimes races might when using recovery. Neat. Okay, time to YOLO. Time to yeet the shit out of this place. I don't know if there's any point to doing these chests, to be honest. I mean, this is it, right? Like, unless this shit carries over into new game plus, which maybe it does, but 
I'm just not going to bother, honestly. I just don't care. No matter where it goes, I long to stand where the light glows to guard the edge of dawn that I know so well. All right, let's see if I, let's see if Dimitri can do his, uh, his murder thing. But first, hold on. Which, uh, which spear is in the best critical? It's, it's Killer Lance. So keep that on. Go over here. Kill them all. See what happens. Oh, my, throw the fastball at you, bitch. Wah! Damn it! Stop moving, you little scamp! Defiant magic, yes, just in the nick of time. Too slow. Too slow. Nice try, bitch. On my, On honor. my honor! Don't you touch me! If you must. Who's next? I, won't be ah, I swear it wasn't in vain. Yeah, get him, Dimitri. Only the Only more power for me. See you in the eternal flame. Okay, please dodge. Next try. He has a zero percent chance, so you should be able to dodge it. Eleven percent. Ow! 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 Careful, set it. Thank you. Die! Stop it! Go away, right? Don't touch me. Ah. Please don't kill his. Damn it! That is what I didn't want to have happen. I might be able to fix that, actually, though. Let's see if Dimitri can kill literally all these guys over here. Here we go. Let's see you this. Um, it is done. Next. On to the next. Dead. Level up. Only the next. Next try. On my oh, honor. my honor. I swear it wasn't in vain. Next. Hit me if you Dead. Next. I said next. That worked pretty well. Let's see us got this. Dead. Hear voices from the lower levels. Could it be enemy reinforcements? Avoid losses by taking control of the stairwells. Block the enemy reinforcements. Block them. Uh oh. It's fine. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna counterattack every last one of them. Stay there. Okay, that guy's dead. Bow fair. Hey. That was amazing. Next at her move. Very good. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Wreck up. Hammer time! Dee -dee -dee -dee. Without I'm not that. Anymore. Uh. Her enemies are my enemies. Let me help you. All right, stop this guy. Make sure they don't die in the process here. Ow! Okay, finish him. It is done. Onward. Okay, now we got this beastie dude over here, but fuck him. Just gonna get the shit out of here. And we're gonna see how Dimitri handles himself here. Damn it, Dimitri! Stop chasing me! Sword coming. Sword coming, bitch! You're fastballing, fucking jack shit. Oh boy. Close one. Okay. Good. Okay, Dimitri, time. On my own. Ah, I swear. Okay, dead. Next. It is done. Dead. Next. Oh god. Damn, nice counters there, Seth. Dead! <laughs> Next! Oh my god, this is working surprisingly well. How far can Dimitri go? Oh! <laughs> oh my god. Literally everybody. All of you. Every last one of you come at me. Fuck it, I'm doing it. I just want to see what happens. Do it. Probably should have moved Seth. Whatever. There's no time for that. Damn it! Stop it, Jimmy! Damn it! Ow! Please don't tell me that broke his. Don't no, go. We're good. Okay. Missed. Damn, ah, missed Seth. That's fine. On 
Oh my honor! Ah! Take me if you must. Come on! Come on, right here! All of you! Uh-oh. Oh dear. Problem! To the next battle. I still counterattack this, so I'm fine. But I think I'm still gonna die. So this is ah! Okay, doesn't work on the guys that are on uh on the archery stuff, so okay. Good to know. Good to know. I want to see how far I can push that. Yeah, so he does not counterattack these guys. Which I uh, will say definitely kind of sucks. Okay. I put him outside of the range of either of these archers. He's the only ones I think on they're on ballistas. Everybody else is fine. Level up for Marianne. Good. Okay, so that's again. Uh, okay, we're fine. I won't be deterred. I won't, be deterred. Ah. I won't stop here. Okay, next. On my oh my honor. honor. Another face to haunt. Next, <laughs> another face to haunt me. Next. Let's see it on this. Take me if you must. Next. Everybody. I got plenty for everybody. Yeah, that's the shit. <laughs> Did we just get a solo this shit? Solo to meet you run. Here we go. Okay, this is this is where I run a problem. So this is unfortunately where the archers are going to have to go. Or I could just... <laughs> oh my god. Can I just hang out here for a bit? Uh, He is out of his... um. His counterattack, so that's not gonna work. Unless I can get unless I can get over to him, which uh might be able to. Dance. Go over here. And give him the gambit. Alright, I made tree. Uh just gonna lay this to you, man. Okay, let's see if we can keep it going. I swear to god, Dimitri! If you don't stop, I'm gonna be super missed! Be super mad! Fuck, I'm aiming for that little fish here, fish girl! Yeah, fuck you! Got her at least! Showed her! On my, On my honor! It is done. Next! Still leveling up, by the way. Only, the Only more power for me. Hey, who else? Come on! I'm right here! I'm right here! Uh. On to the next battle. Come on! What are you waiting for? I won't stop here. Uh oh, that might be a problem. Oh, they for me. Thank you. <gasps> yes. <laughs> thank you. Oh, thank you, Manuela. <sighs> thank you, God. Ah, oh, damn it. I bought two killer lances. <laughs> I really should have, actually. Well, I got other stuff to use. I still got the scythe and stuff, but... Wow, the killer lance still... <laughs> even bro broke it, it still works pretty well, to be honest. I don't need durability. Durability's for fucking pussies. All right, get him. Give me your brother. Another face to hold. Another face to hold me. Like the eternal flame. <laughs> All right. Uh, These guys going for... No, they're going for me. What the hell? Stay away from me. Yeah, that's right. Go for the Matri. Okay, I gotta get... While he's handling them, I gotta get people to come over and kill these archers, though. They they definitely need to go. Okay, Shamir. Let's try and get you to kill this fucking... Uh, can she do it and not have to deal with the dude over there? I do believe so. Get him. Going for the kill, mother! Ah! Ah! <laughs> uh... Level the fuck up, Shamir. Not what I was God damn it! <laughs> God damn it! Ah! <laughs> okay, got to the left there. I'll ignore him for the time being. This monster, though, is gonna be coming for us, so... To do, tank it! Tank it to do! You ain't shit to me, boy! You dare stand in my presence! God damn it, Dimitri! Stop it! <laughs> <Too slow. laughs> I just love it. She always targets Dimitri first. Fine, I'm gonna hit it in, then! Uh-uh. Damn it! <laughs> I got her. Seriously, if her if her uh, her aim was better, she'd be a much bigger pain in the ass. Seriously, I can't imagine how big of a how big of a pain she'd be on maddening difficulty. Right? After like one shotting people from across the map. Let's see you 
Let's see it on this arm. It is done. All right. All right, where was I? Oh, that's right. Getting ready to kill this bitch. Clear a path. Oh, this could totally work. I could just get to that guy to the right. I don't think I can, though. Uh, wait. Wait, me, I can. Maybe. Uh, oh! Get this motherfucker, Shamir! Go over the kill! <laughs> <laughs> Stay down. Fucking love it. Okay, monster's gonna come after her, but it's all right. Uh, can I distract him? Hey, look at me! Bugga, bugga, bugga! Bugga, bugga, bugga! I'm gonna get you! Bugga, bugga! Get the shit out of there, Dimitri! Or do All right. Which means, Dimitri, do your thing. So, that grotesque creature was Edelgard. <laughs> Gross. If she is prepared to transform her very body to fight for this future of hers, then I have no choice but to defeat her. Even if it costs me my life. We must defend the present. After all, it is all that we truly have. I long to stab the bitch in the face and send her to the eternal fucking flames. I don't think that's how the song goes, Demetri, but it's fine. Whatever. Okay, distract this guy. Sedith. So he doesn't kill Shamir. Well, come in, Demetri. Just gonna let you clear everybody out for us. Ah, Demetri, do it. Fucking do it. Slay them all. I mean, seriously, what are you gonna do after this, huh? How are you gonna be able to eat regular food with those big ginormous hands of yours? You didn't think far enough ahead, Edelgard. You're the one who, <laughs> who's not thinking about the future here. Next, Next. Take me if you must. Next. Oh boy. And you missed. Yoink. Yoink. Oh god, he's coming at us. Let's see you dodge this. It is done. Last but not least. Oh god, I love Dimitri so goddamn much. All right, the path is clear. Oh, her her range is limited now. Interesting. She's done sniping us. Now she just waits for us to come and find her true form. All right, guys, time to get the fuck out of there. Leave the beasties alone if we fucking can. Which I actually don't know if I can. I might, I might have to kill a few of these. <laughs> Taste my eternal flame, bitch! Arrgh! Burn! Excalibur. Stand aside! Fish Wolfu! Destroy! Punch the fuck out of this dude. Uh. Annette Strong. I'm not gonna do damage, but I'm gonna shatter that shield. Oh, no, I'm not. Okay, if I'm not doing damage, that, that doesn't count, apparently. I thought just hitting it would actually do stuff. I'm gonna do this work, not get her in range. Getting hurt here. It's over. There we go. Oh, what from Anuela? Uh, I'm coming, Edelgard. Uh, Edelgard will fight, uh, fight her alone. <laughs> uh, guys, <laughs> my counterattack's about to wear off. I don't know if that's a good idea. Get over there, Shamir. Let's clean up. We need you and your amazing crits. I'm gonna help this guy to the right. Leaves us alone. Fuck, he's coming. Whatever, I, uh... Actually, I don't know if he fit through this door here. Now I think about it. We're having it away just because he's too fat to fit through the door. Ha ha. Smell you later, loser. Ha ha. <laughs> move, move, move. Everybody go, 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 go. <laughs> this guy's, oh, I'm coming. Run, 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 run. <laughs> Giving everybody over here. Okay. Still coming. Hurry, Ned, hurry. Is that actually her attack range? It is. I don't think she's going to move at all. She's just going to, just going to float there. So I can't just like lure her out. Ah, kind of wish I'd left Mercedes' uh, ability to move uh, far. Okay, and... Ha! That's right, stupid! 
You can't fit through the door. Ha ha ha. <laughs> In your face, asshole. Annette, rally up, Dimitri. Oh, I feel fucking so hyped for this shit. Rally me up. Flame. My fishy wafu. Yes. Slay him, Professor. Or her. I will. All right. So she's got a shield. Got to break that shit down. Then just start whacking on her real hard. Only 62% chance of hitting her there. Damn, those uh, battalions aren't doing a fucking lot here, are they? All right. Uh, let's hit her with the wave attack. To be changed beyond all recognition. That is what lies at the end of the ideals you serve so diligently. I have no pity for one such as you. If that is the future you hoped for, then you deserve no compassion. We must destroy you now. Uh, ow! Fuck! Attract their attention. Shield is gone. All right. Uh, give him... Give another another move, uh, Marianne. I'll smack the living horseshit out of her, Dimitri. Let's see which is better, air bar or the side? The side, actually, unbelievably, the side actually has a better chance. A hundred percent chance, literally. Ah! Level up for me again, God. He, Dimitri's level up like five times this fight already. Ow! All right, we got. Can we hit her with the hot clear? Or maybe the point blank volley. Doesn't have a very high chance of hitting her though. It's only 69%. Uh I can hit her though. Facing you, I grow weak. You should. Uh, oh, my power is absolute. Ah, oh, level me the fuck up. Ah, oh, give me that shit. Even Shamir's killer bow isn't gonna do a whole lot of damage. I mean she'll likely get a critical, but fuck it. Going for the kill! Ah! Last shot of her crit killer bow. How dare you touch me! Ow! Fuck! Still hit! Get her, Seneth! Missed! Ah! Oh, she has the desperation mover. She gets attacked first if, uh. She's getting, uh, low on health or, or uh. Low on health? Whatever, whatever Dimitri's thing was. Uh. Desperation. If less than Eunice fall up attack. Yeah, it's this. Desperation. Is that what Dimitri had, though? His was a little different. Yeah, his is a little... He's got the battalion vantage. This is like that, but... Honestly, a little less useful. Unless you have, like, 30 HP bars like she does. Oh, no. That's not what I wanted to do. Oh. Cool. I, I, I accidentally hit the accept button. <laughs> I thought I was going to skip through it and go back, but I guess she actually, she must have gotten a critical on her. Because she was not going to kill her with that. She had four hits with it. Fuck. Damn, I don't, I don't want to skip over it. Fuck. Can I redo that? Edelgard. It is over. Oh, well. <laughs> I, she must have gotten a critical. <laughs> I was I selected her, and I meant to actually click the back button to, to go back, but my hand slipped, and I hit the, the OK button, and she went and attacked her. Uh, all right, well, Dimitri obviously is the uh, MVP here. Ugh. Oh, good. It just melts away like that, apparently. She's like, oh, thank God. L. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. Are you okay, man? That looks very close to your heart. <laughs> Just walk the fuck out. I'm 
surprised Dental God did that, honestly. Aw. I was going back. I had a feeling she was not going to live through this. I'm, I am am rather surprised that she actually really tried to, like, to kill Demetri in that last moment there. Well, not so Ingrid. Even if we actually skipped over that cutscene where you actually killed her. A rising flame was alight as the flow of time carved a new history for Fodlin. The long reign of the Adrestian Empire finally met its end when the Imperial capital, the city of Envar, collapsed. After five and a half years of war, a new age was set to begin. With Fodlan united as the Holy Kingdom of Fargus, Archbishop Rhea, still weak from her imprisonment, stepped down from her position. Oh, yeah, I guess we... The Church right. Of Saros we were looking for her. I guess she was there. I just organized. didn't even see her. Prince Dimitri formally ascended the throne, beginning his reign as the King of the Holy Kingdom of Fargus, which now included former alliance and imperial territories. Oh, we're actually in the picture now. I see Dimitri. <laughs> Texts from the time claimed that the one who guided the king as he sought to create a world free from oppression became the new archbishop of the Church of Saros. Was that me? Was that me standing there? On the left, I think it is, actually. I think I'm wearing my, my class outfit. For my, my ultimate class. Tell me, what is it you were actually trying to say? Marry me, Fishy Flame. I love you and your weird little twirly hair. I mean, I was watching Demetri, but hey, you're still my silver medal, girl. That's pretty good. <laughs> I told you already, take my ring. You cannot possibly be serious. How can this be true? You are sincerely saying that the progenitor god Sothis dwells within you, and that you have inherited her power? Oh, uh, that, that, yeah, that too. But also the marriage thing, right? Is, is that not what was going on here? That is utterly... bizarre. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? You just thought I'd dye my hair because I wanted to be more like you guys, but nope. Just a weird Super Saiyan after effect. But it's the truth. If I may be so bold... Do you consider yourself male or female? Uh, well, I, I don't know. I have only ever heard you referred to as a male, but Sothis is most assuredly female. Am I to believe that you are a male goddess? I am not certain how much sense that makes. Wait a minute. Wait, you're saying I could be a girl? That means I can't go out with Dimitri. Never mind, see you later, Flame. <laughs> Shove her aside. <laughs> Dimitri, oh, Dimitri. Turns out I picked the girl protagonist after all. I suppose there are circumstances by which such a thing is possible. Never said I was a goddess. <laughs> oh, are you not? But if you have inherited her power, then surely the two of you have become one. Ugh, it all makes my head spin. I suppose I will take your word for it. Flane, I want you to have this weird ring that my dad gave me and got from a Cracker Jack box like 30 years ago. This is a ring. Oh my, it is beautiful. So delicate and feminine. Is this your ring? So then you walk around with a woman's ring. <laughs> Surely this is proof that- <laughs> Flight, flight, shot. <laughs> You're not playing. <laughs> Blaine, you are ruined in this romantic moment. God damn it. Says the guy who's over here pining over Dimitri while giving me this ring. Y'all missing the point. Am I? Oh, oh, wait. Now I recall. I have heard that it is customary to bestow a ring upon the person one wishes to marry. Cool. Who are you planning to give it to, Professor? I swear to God, Blaine. Which would mean... Hmm. Does this mean what I think it means? Will you marry me, Flane? No! Uh, what? Why did you pick me, not Dimitri? God! Because the game won't let me! Me? You? Us? That's right, we're gonna have a lot, make a whole bunch of little fishy green haired babies together. You mean to tell me that you have fallen in love with me? I love you dearly, my fish fiance. I think I might faint. <laughs> 
I... No one has ever... Well, uh, of course they have not. Aw, this is cute. This is actually a lot more successful than I thought of. I thought it would just be like... Like two seconds of like, Hey, I picked you. Wow! And they lived happily ever after. Oh, my apologies. I am quite taken aback. Are you most certain I am the one whom you love? I always knew there was a deep, special bond between us. I never quite imagined that it might develop into this. Or perhaps I did imagine it often. Ooh. Oh. I must ask once more. Are you certain that you are not the goddess Sothis? I just want to make sure. You got a doodle down there, right? Because cause I'm the kind of girl who likes to get fun sickles at the grocery store. I'm not, really. Oh, this is all so surreal. I graciously accept your proposal and this beautiful ring. Yay! Heart <gasps> is as fast as the ocean. I ask that you wrap me in your embrace. For now and for all eternity. Oh, look, we've got a little scene here. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, I love that. It's like a little cute little CG. Ah, uh, I love you too, Flane. I do very much like Flane. Even if, it, you know, I, like I said, to make sure it would have been my first choice if that was an option, but it isn't. So I pick Flane because she is sweet. Yay. Okay, cool. Um, okay, remember we see other people's endings? And this is probably where I got to press A, right? That's what people were telling me. Maybe. Battle data. Uh. No, this is just. Wow, it's actually gonna list out all my fights. Like every fight. <laughs> wow, okay, and all the MVPs. Can I have to sit through all this? I'm afraid to skip it though. I'm just gonna. Oh, oh, okay, good. Wee! I mean, this is cool, but I kinda don't care either. Wee! Yeah. Ah, time skip. Ah, I'm back here. Ah, so you need to turn a turn flame, turn flame, turn flame. There's gonna be a lot of Dimitris there. Okay. Uh, Anna. Oh, here we go. Here we go. That's it. Okay, got it. Uh, traveling merchant Anna. Two battles, one victory. Wait, is this how it's gonna go? Are we not gonna see cutscenes? Is it just gonna be like, is the endings for the characters just gonna be like dialogue, or the, like this thing right here? I'm just a big massive message message box. I swear to God, come on! I want to see some. I want to see some voice. I was hoping I would see some voice acting cutscenes. Uh, Anna's business savvy proved to be a great asset in the post-war because reconstruction of Garrick Mog. Once the restoration was complete, she disappeared from the area entirely, though tales of a mysterious merchant were passed down in every corner of the world for centuries to come <laughs> and showed up every Fire Emblem game ever. Some say she continues her travels even to this day, eternally peddling her wares ever in search of the next lucrative opportunity. Uh, Alois, uh, 66 battles, 35 victories. Um, once all the fighting had come to an end, Alois officially took up the position of captain of the Knights of Seros. In this capacity, he was much beloved, and the Knights became more unified than ever under his command. It is said their accomplishments during his tenure were beyond that, beyond what Gerald's troops had achieved. Gilbert Godfrey! Gilbert returned to Ferdiad and resumed his duty as a knight, faithfully serving King Dimitri for many years. Guy yeah, was in 70 battles? Fuck. Um, when he finally retired, it is said he spent the rest of his days coaching the young prince in the art of combat. Oh, cool. The young prince, huh? Did Dimitri have a son? Sedeth. Sedeth murdered Bizzoli for <laughs> proposing to his sister slash daughter slash fish girl. Sedeth was on the run from the cops ever since. Sedeth remained at the monastery and worked to restore the authority of the church. Doing away with his old strictness, he adopted a tolerant stance toward all. His encouragement of believers to respect those of others, uh, other faith helped the people of Fodolin to find common ground with others. Actually, I'm sorry. I think this is, is, isn't actually the ending. It's just sort of like a like, where are they now? But they're, we're, the, the endings are still to come. I, I hope. 
Cyril died alone. <laughs> um, no. Unable to serve Ray any longer, Cyril nearly left the church. He was persuaded to stay, however, to assist in rebuilding the monastery he helped maintain. Thanks to his devoted work ethic, the officer's academy was able to re reopen a few years later. When the new students took the reception hall, Cyril found himself among them. Oh, wow, cool. I guess technically he was, he, that's right, he wasn't really a student. He would just like helped the, the Knights of Saros or something. Uh, oh my God. No, this isn't. Uh, <laughs> oh my God. After the war, Hanuman and Manuela held a, held a wedding ceremony, which all of their many students were invited. Oh my God. Later, as Garrick Mog came to be restored, the Officer's Academy finally reopened with a renewed focus on accepting students regardless of status. Manuela and Hanuman returned to work as teachers, almost as if nothing had happened, or nothing had changed, to fill the halls with their banter in the way only married couples can. The relationship spawned a train of romance among colleagues at the Officers' Academy, but that is an entirely different story. Oh my god! Oh, oh god, why? Why did I do this? No! Oh, ah. Okay, so, <laughs> these are actually the endings. I'm a little disappointed there's not, like, they're not, like, cutscenes or something, like mine was. Like, I was expecting, like, a like all of our scenes, including my own, was just going to be, like, a short thing of, like, saying, it like, hey, let's get married or get hitched or something, and or, or, like, a flash forward in time, and then we're talking to each other. I don't know, something. But I guess that would have been maybe a little too much. I mean, there's a lot of different combinations here. Oh, my God, Bernie and Raphael. Ah, <laughs> big guy, little girl. When Bernet, Bernadetta first inherited the house of Count control of House Farley. She hid away and would not dare involve herself in political or administrative affairs. During this time, it was Raphael who came to her aid, encouraging her to work through her fear of people. The training period was difficult, humiliating, according to the journals Bernadette left behind. But in the end, it had its desired effect. The leader of House Farley became an outgoing and authoritative individual, taking part in public policy. She even took on a very muscular husband. Oh my god! <laughs> Diesel husband! Big guy in little coat. Oh my god, Casper and Ash had the gayest relationship. They had sex every day and adopted a whole bunch of foreign babies. <laughs> After the war, Casper and Ash embarked on a carefree journey around the world. They traveled to every corner of Foland, and even ventured abroad now and again with the sole purpose of punishing those who preyed upon the helpless. Oh my god, they're Batman and Robin. Though Casper seemed to get in trouble at every turn, Ash was always there to get him out of it. And Casper's bravery and strength returned the favor more than once. Though opposites in many ways, they share the same view of justice, and their abilities complemented one another nicely. The stories of their adventures lived on as exciting and amusing folk tales. Wow, okay, cool. It seemed pretty platonic. Oh my god, to do Mercedes! Hey, what's up? Hey, baby. Two years after the war, to do and his wife Mercedes opened a school in the Dusker Residential District in Ferdiad. The school educated Dusker children who had never been given structured learning before in reading, writing, arithmetic, and even Dusker history. Many years later, when the Dusker people reclaimed their homeland, the people who attended this school were able to resettle there and revive their old culture. Because this to do and Mercedes were forever renowned renowned by the Dusker. Oh, that's nice. Cool. Mercedes, you were only in 95 battles? And to do it wait, what? I'm a little confused. What are the battles significant? What are the the battles? Do they mean maybe maybe encounters within the battles? Because I was like, Mercedes has been in every fight of my game of the game. Like, seriously, everyone. I don't think there's ever a point I didn't take her along with me. That's gotta be it. That's gotta be what it is. But does that mean he's had some fights where he didn't win? 217 battles and 108 victories? It means half of them he didn't win, but I guess it means half of them he didn't kill the enemy? I don't, I don't know, I'm a little confused by this. But whatever, anyway. Um, yeah! Oh! Sorry. Uh, after the war, Felix inherited the title of Duke Valdarius from his late father, Rodrigue. Sometime later, he married Annette and the pair each, er, er, and the pair earned renown together by working hard at restoring their territory to and beyond its former glory. And people adore the pair, Felix, for his fierce determination and Annette for her boundless cheer. Years later, Annette threw herself into a songwriting, and with the support and encouragement of her husband, oh my god, she produced melodies that, became, that remained popular for generations, including the song in Smash Brothers. There we go! The lyrics became distorted over time, however, and the original meaning of the music was lost. But it's okay, because Sakurai was able to decipher those meanings and write them into the into the world of life song. Colors we would do us Yay! Oh my god, Catherine Shamir got in the gayest rule of all gay relationships, even gayer than Ashes and Casper's thing. Let's see. After Queen of the Knights of Saros, Catherine and Shamir set off on a lifelong journey together. The pair were inseparable as they traveled across Fodland and eventually wound up in Shamir's homeland of Dagda. They faced many hardships on their ventures, some of which were self-inflicted, as the duo had a way of sticking their noses into others' businesses in their efforts to right wrongs. 
It said, however, that no foe they encountered had ever proved a match for the combined mind of Shamir's marksmanship and Catherine's thunder, thunder brand. Oh, fuck you, game. Come on. Are you kidding me? Oh, that sounds way too platonic. That was, that's way too platonic. Come on. They were lovers on the side. Fuck like monkeys every night. It was fantastic. Ah, fuck you, game. All right. That's, they, like, Shamir said, like, we should get married. And the Catholic got all fucking blush and shit. No way. All right. That shit fucking happened. I don't believe this. All right. They just didn't get into the dirty details because it was so nasty. They couldn't do it. They couldn't put it in the game without it becoming an M rating. I see through this shit. Yeah. 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 You just get angry. Yeah. Hey, woo. Sorry. As Margaret Grave Argatier, so Sylvain devoted his life to improving relations with the people of Sereng. Uh, under his leadership, nobles were persuaded that relics and crests were not necessary as they previously thought. Yes. Though he went down in history as an extraordinary lord, he could not have done so without the constant support and counsel of his wife, Ingrid, who helped keep his dick in check, <laughs> whose wisdom and tenacity ensured that people would prosper. Uh, Sylvain was ever loyal to his beloved wife. The couple had many children, and while not one of them bore a crest, they were all equally and wholeheartedly loved. Oh my god, I fucking love that. Yeah! Yeah! Oh, I love it! I love it! Fuck yeah, man. Get some, Sylvain. Get some. Uh, I like that. Ingrid over here making him a better human being. Uh, <gasps> yes! Okay! That. Oh my god, it actually happened. Cool! This was, I actually was not sure this was this pairing was gonna happen. Sweet! Cool, all right. Uh, Dimitri, savior king. Marianne, survivor of the curse. I didn't realize there actually like titles for each of them too. I should have read those. This is actually who I wanted Dimitri to get with though, because they, they did seem like they had a lot in common. If I can't be with him, then I want Dimitri to at least be happy. Dimitri assumed the throne of the Holy Kingdom of Fargus and spent his life ruling justly over Fodland. Several years after his coronation, he took Marianne, whom he loved dearly, as his queen. Many of Dimitri's greatest achievements can be traced to wisdom provided by Marianne, who had received tutelage from her adopted father, Margrave uh, Edmund. Many years later, when Dimitri fell to illness, he clutched his queen's hand until the very end. No, oh, no, Dimitri, no! <laughs> The Queen's Journal, uncovered after her passing, contained recounts of their time together. The last words penned with trembling hand are, I would not trade our time together or the happiness we knew for anything. Oh, that's sweet. That's sweet. Look at how many, look how many battles Demetrius is in. 331 battles and 205 victories. Jesus Christ, Demetrius, calm down. <gasps> Me and Fishy Girl. Da, 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 da. I'm the guy of old and you a slumbering fish princess. His elite announced his marriage to Flane shortly after being named Archbishop of the Church of Saros. Flane chose not to get involved in management of the church, instead of focusing on healing those who had been hurt by the war. Her compassion and demeanor led many to speculate that she was the second coming of St. Sethley. <laughs> yeah, second coming, right. When Father was finally restored, the Archbishop named a successor, and the couple retired to a royal villa on the Rhodos coast of Western Fodland, away from her crazy father, Seth. <laughs> they spent the remaining years there in peace, fishing a great deal. It said, fish, yes, fishing. It said, no, mo no matter their age, they always retained a youthful appearance. Yeah, we live for fucking ever. I kind of had a feeling I'd probably be the same way. Just gonna live forever in the eternal fish. All right, hey, I got like pretty much all the matchups I wanted. Fuck yeah! <laughs> I can't believe it. There were actually some I'm a little unsure about when I was like checking the people's uh, affinity to each other. <gasps> Here comes the song, guys. Blah 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 blah. The end. Oh, here we go. I heard people th say they actually, I, I think they thought this was actually initially an ex voice actress. This actually, I think, is somebody else. So. I hope this song is a copyrighted today. Oh, I can't skip this. Now, nah, I'll sit through it. There's a lot, a lot of Chinese names in here. Look at all these. Vocals, OP, and ED theme songs, Caro. I wonder if they did the English and the Japanese ones? Here's the uh, English cast. Tara Platt. That's right. Uh, there's Joe Zizia. Your good old bro, Joe Brogy. Chris Hackney, of course, the absolute freaking Madland. Um, Cassandra Lee Morris. Um, there's a lot of people in here I do not recognize, though. Karen Strassman, that's of course classic. Good old fine Anako. Um, Todd Habercorn. 
Matodi. I'm not sure if I came across that character or not. Todd Abercorn. Keith Silverstein. Kyle Hebert. It's like random various other voices. Okay. Do you want to save clear game data? This game, data can be used to start a new game plus. If you tend to play your previous data, please save your clear game data in another file. Boom. <gasps> oh, hey, that's cute. Now, Seth is on the tile screen. She's sleeping. Like she always does. All right, let's do that again. <laughs> you know what I feel like doing, guys? I feel like playing through a whole nother 200 hour playthrough. Let's do it right now. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Okay, I'm guessing if you want to do uh, the New Game Plus, you, you you click here, right? The one with the little Sothis icon on the top, right? God, I love how they actually in the extras have the supports for all these. Oh, man, though. Look, it's not going to fill off the S ranks until I see it. it literally, everyone's ending. Fuck. <laughs> oh, my God. That'd be a completionist nightmare right there. Wow, this is really extensive, actually. You can go back and relive the events of the game, too. All the individual cutscenes. Uh, even the goddess tower scenes. Well, all right, guys, that is the end of one third of Fire Emblem Three Houses. <laughs> uh, but it is the end, at least for the time being. But before I get into my final thoughts, before we do anything, there is one last thing I got to look at and react to. So apparently someone went and actually modded Fire Emblem Three Houses and uh, made, I think probably basically took what was originally the female uh, ending with uh dimitri and modded in so that the male uh sprite was used instead so oh yeah you know what that means that's right we're gonna get the, this is the actual can ending all right the flame one was just a just a side thing that shit didn't happen no this is the real ending right here baby let's see it dimitri and bizalid s rank ended give it to me come now my friend you must stop staying up so late tomorrow is yet another early morning then again, I know that matters little. You cannot sleep, can you? <laughs> Neither can I, of course. I... I want you to know I am sorry for making you do so much when your battle wounds aren't even completely healed yet. It's okay, Dimitri. I'd do anything for you. And what of yours? I'm not wearing my glasses for some me. reason. My shoulder has healed nicely. I still have some numbness in my hand. Oh, I not after he gets stabbed, much. yeah. It is a lovely night, is it not? Yes! How many years has it been since I was kept awake by hopes for the future, rather than by nightmares of the past? Nightmares? I have had the same nightmare for nine long years. A nightmare in which I am constantly tormented by those who have died. They ask me why I have not avenged them. Why I got to live, yet they had to die. No matter how many corpses I piled up for them, in the end, their voices only grew louder. Aww. Voices loathing me, calling out to me. Their inescapable death cries ringing in my ears, clinging to my soul. Even now, I can always hear them. I am certain I will be hearing them until the day I die. But I will not cover my ears. I will go on living, and their voices will serve as a warning. As a king, and as a wretch who claimed countless lives. I will build a kingdom where the people can live in peace. I am sure she would laugh and call such talk foolish. But I wish to change this world in my own way. Yeah, fuck that bitch. She well, deserved to die. Grace, things will be busy from now on. Our first order of business is tomorrow's coronation. Once a professor and student, now an archbishop and a king. How very far we have come. We're still the same. Only our titles have changed. That is true. <laughs> to me, you will always be the one who guided me so kindly. My ally through all. My beloved... Aww. Yes. My beloved. Yes. Yes, your beloved, Dimitri. Look me in the eyes. Listen, there is something I wish to give you before the coronation. Give me your hand. Wait, he's giving me a ring? Please, I beg of you, say something. Oh my god, he's proposing to me! To accept it, please, just tell me. If so, I will face the truth and walk away. <gasps> That's not it at all. 
How did you know, motherfucker? What is this? Oh, oh, interesting. I was gonna give him his right. <gasps> I love you, Dimitri. Marry me. You, you beat me to it. <laughs> yes, I see. Right. In that case, let us exchange them, shall we? Oh my god. Yes. Now that I hold them within my own, I see how small and fragile they are. These hands that have saved me countless times. Thank you, my beloved. Your kind, warm hands. May they cling to my own forevermore. Yes, Demetri, yes, come here, baby cakes. Mm -hmm. ah. Then we just fucked right there, right there, right in the middle of the fucking room. Didn't give a shit. Ah. Yes. Oh, thank fuck. Ah, oh, I went so long for that moment. Oh, I don't care if it was ending in. That was real. It was real to me, guys. That was the hottest fucking ending of anything I've ever seen in my life. Oh, thank fuck. Thank fuck for the internet. Wait so long for that fucking moment. So long, Piggy Penguin. Ah. Uh. <laughs> oh, I am actually really glad somebody did that, because that, that's... Oh. Why couldn't they have done that in the real game, huh? Why? They could have just changed the feminine hands part with big manly strong hands. <laughs> I guess the good thing too, that at no point does he actually ever go like, does he ever say she or her or anything to to uh, the protagonist? So I could be fully, fully immersed in it. They didn't have to, so the guy that modded that shit didn't have to go rehire Chris Hackney to reset the lines or something. Chris Hackney, please. You gotta do this for the fandom, for Nico. Bessaline. I don't know who are these people are. Shut up. Get away from me. See you in the eternal flame. Blah. Beautiful though. Just beautiful. Well, all right, guys. With that, I think we are now completely done. So my final thoughts on this game. It sucked. It was fucking terrible. Why? Why'd you make me play it? 50 episodes of fucking garbage. Garbage. <laughs> he said with incredible jest. No, this game was fantastic. This game was fucking amazing. It was amazing. And it's not even the full game. It's only a portion of it. But I will say, uh, I can't really compare it, I guess, to the other routes, right? So I can't be ha like, well, this route was definitely better than Edel Guards or Claude's. But as, and just saying after having played through that route, you know, did, did I enjoy it? Am I happy I picked it? Absolutely. I fucking love all my freaking blue lions. They were all so cute and adorable. And I will love them forever as my children. And Demetri is my lover. Because... It was just, it was fucking great. The characters in this game are phenomenal. Phenomenally well-written and just so interesting and engaging and fun to interact with. Oh my God, this game support system. Like I want Persona 6 to fucking base it, their shit off of how they did it in this game. Because being able to see just interactions that aren't just with you, with your protagonist, but with also with other people, you know? Like the themselves with each other. It goes such a goddamn long way. Like there were so many incredibly meaningful and interesting character interactions that didn't involve me, that I wasn't there for. And I'm so glad they put them there. Cause like, that's the thing about the Persona games is you only see them with yourself in those. And the other ones, you only can get through the main story, which is okay. I mean, it's worked. But seeing it this way has really made me go, oh, they got to change this shit. They got to change it to something like this because it really is, it, it, it escalates it to something just truly like godlike in my opinion. It's a godlike characterization. You get to know these people in and out, right? All their different interactions with each other. This game's support system is just fantastic. And I loved it to death. And I, I, I like every time I did it, every time I had to go around and like talk to everybody and see some new shit, I was just like, yes. I want to see, I want to get, I can't wait to see more of this. More, more. Each, each one having like such interesting storylines. Like Catherine and Ashes were so fucking good. Uh, Felix and, Felix and Annette, fucking amazing. All the ones with Dimitri were fantastic. Pretty much every single one. And every one that Dimitri interacted with was fantastic in this game. Sylvain had a lot of really, really good ones too. And some hilarious ones as well. I just, I love all these characters, man. They were all so fucking good. They were all so good and I love them all so much. Yeah. But it's clear though that that was the focus of this, um, this route, at least in particular, um, was Dimitri's story, um, the characterization of all the people in the Blue Lion's house, uh, but not so much the main story. The main story definitely felt a little bit more like an afterthought. Even that ending, to be honest, 
I mean, it was a nice ending. And I did definitely like, of course, the the ending that it got with the person I picked, right? So in this case was Flane or even seen Dimitri's. Those were fantastic. I do kind of wish they'd went a little further with the, the other characters, but at the same time, I also see why they didn't because that would have been a ton of work. Not a lot of different combinations. I think I was just expecting a little too much there because everything up to this point had already, they'd already done, you know, a, basically a ton of different uh, uh, combinations of characters. I thought maybe they'd done the same thing here, but that was more an assumption on my part. But the actual ending itself with like Dimitri and Edelgard was a little anticlimactic. And it wasn't because I accidentally skipped over Ingrid actually killing uh, Edelgard. It was more like, I mean, Edelgard didn't even really say anything. She's just like, like getting ready to reach out to his hand. And then, nope, we're going to try to stab him. And then he stabs her and dead. And that's it. Walk out. Bye. Like, and I, I get why they did it that way. The, they want to encourage replaying this game to see the other roots, to understand her motivations and things like that. Um, but unfortunately, I think for that reason, the reason why like Dimitri's main story feels so lacking, I think likely compared to probably what other ones are like is because they decided to design the game that way that you can't get that full picture without replaying it. And I think that is, I don't know how I feel about it because on the one hand I get it. Cause it's like, yeah, we want people to go back through and play it again and see from different angles. But at the same time, it's also like it's it's expecting a lot from the player right like you already have to spend a ton of hours just to get through that first part which apparently according to people is pretty much the same across all three routes that first half of the game before the time skip is basically the same story um and that kind of sucks i think if, it, if they really were going to go this route then it should have been totally different each route you know then it would then I, then I think it would be totally fine i think everybody would have been pretty much down for it but the fact that that first half of the game is basically the same thing that you're going to have to replay. I mean, yeah, you're going to see some new stuff. You're going to see some new social links and supports with characters, which is great. You know, assuming you didn't already try and recruit everybody in the first time around. Um, but I mean, that's still a fuck ton of fights, a little bit of maybe grinding. I mean, grind. I didn't really have to grind this game. I did the auxiliary battles, but. I was always usually for like, actually don't know. I, I did grind. I grind for supports, not for levels in this game, but it's still a fuck ton of time. You know, that's like, seriously, I like if I were trying to go through each of these routes, I feel like by the end, I'd have like 600 hours in this game at least. And then there's the DLC, of course, it's like, fuck, man, that's, that's a lot of time. That's like in a lot of ways. This kind of reminds me of what they did with Nier Automata, where you have to basically play through the game as, as to be. And then you get to the, the the quote unquote ending, and then you basically play the, the entire game again as 9S, and it's mostly the same. There's still some some new stuff in there, stuff that you didn't see with 2B, but it's mostly the same story before getting to the actual like second half of the game. Um, and I've never been a big fan of that like idea that we need to make these guys go back and just do that shit all over again, you know? I feel like if you're going to do that, you need to make each each route different and unique, you know, or not make the game stupidly crazy long for for that to work. Right. So, like, for example, Resident Evil 2 remake, right? A playthrough for that. Um, it's not that long. Right? I mean, you could beat the game casually playing through probably between six to eight hours, um, which makes we're playing through the game again for some subtle differences and new things in like the Claire route or, you know, Claire route A or B or Leon A or B. Uh, much better. Be, though to be fair, I haven't actually played Claire Root A or B, but I've watched. I watched a little bit of somebody else play it, so I do know a little bit of, of how it goes. But my point is basically that they're expecting a shit ton from their players, and I, I kind of wish maybe that it, they would still include like the main story stuff. Like the main story still had that kind of that pull for each route, you know. Like maybe that didn't change so much, but the character interactions and things like that did change, because. I feel like in a lot of ways, I've missed so much of the story here. And the fact that the only way I can experience this, I have to go back and replay it all in another route does kind of suck. I did enjoy this game a lot, but it's still, that's still so many hours, man. So many hours. I feel like the other way would have been better where it, the, the, maybe the main story stays similar, the same. And I, I know that would have been kind of hard to do with the different characters and their different motivations. Um, but like, or at least just made it so that the story, they got enough information because that's the thing with Dimitri's in particular, the characters were fantastic. Their interactions were fantastic, but I felt like I got hardly any information about what the fuck was going on. We didn't even see Rhea in the end, by the way. She just like, it was like, yeah, I guess she was there 
happened. We didn't see her. That was kind of that again. That was a little anticlimactic. Um, uh, we've been looking for her this whole time. We talk about her every fucking month. I gotta find Lady Ray. I gotta find Lady Ray. I gotta, oh, I guess we found her. We didn't show her. She's off screen. And actually, we didn't even see her in the ending, right? I mean, they 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 brought up how I took her position. That she she said she was just stepping down, and that was it, right? Like fuck. I'm and again, that's probably safe for. One of the other routes, which you guys even told me, actually, the Black Eagles one is technically actually separated into two routes. One where you side with Edelgar and one where you side, the church, side with the church. Um, so technically, actually, there's like four routes in this game, plus the DLC. It's like, fuck, man. Good Lord. And that does kind of suck. And I, I, I'm just not a big fan of that. Um, as much as like, hey, I mean, I could do another fucking Let's Play again, which I will likely do at some point. It does make me like, that's so why I'm not really ready to go right into that you know i just there's the thing about the gameplay of this game uh, again also as much as i've enjoyed it i think the late game for it is not super great i feel like once you've hit the point where everyone's kind of the classes that they want to be there's not much you can really do or unlock like the late skills the s plus skills and s rank skills or whatever they're all kind of all kind of basic and not that interesting you know like i didn't get some cool new crazy move oh fuck i forgot actually i got that combat uh art for dimitri for his bastard his thing i didn't even see what it was i didn't even, <laughs> I didn't even see what it did it probably just did some extra damage or something but um but like when you master these other things i was hoping the s plus gave me some crazy and it's like plus five attack with a certain weapon and i mean it's good it's just but it's not like super interesting or make me really want to do that with every other character it's just, just kind of there and that and the thing is the weapons don't really change in much in this game you have like these set exact weapons that you use for everything and i'm gonna bet that's probably what it's always been in these games right just that kind of setup so maybe they didn't feel the need to really change it but it does kind of make it just by the end where you're just like you're just kind of going along with it you know there's not really much you're really working towards and that kind of sucks. You know, you always kind of want to feel like you're working towards something. The only other real, like, tactics game I've ever dealt with was Final Fantasy Tactics, right? Um, and that game, I will say, that game, like, after you get a certain character at a certain point, the game becomes stupidly, ridiculously easy. Like, insanely easy. Because he kind of breaks the game. But even at that point, though, I still found myself spending, like, hours and hours, like, unlocking and trying to get new shit and get, like, new broken busted combos of classes and stuff like the late game still was fucking fun because you just don't want to just get a whole bunch of crazy shit for your characters and it's not quite that way for this game like the late game you just kind of like you're just kind of done you know it's like you, you don't really do anything you just keep going you repair the weapons you get you don't get any new weapons really any new gear maybe you get occasionally a shield or something from a battle okay i guess i guess the dude can hold this or somebody else and that's cool but but the battles don't really change much, you know? And I don't want to make it seem like the battles... That I think the battle system is bad. No, it's very, very good. Like, the uh, the UI in the battles is excellent. Like, everything's set up well. I know, like, I get all the information that I need. I love the indica the indications of who's going to attack who at one point. It makes things planning ahead super, uh, super great, super easy. Like, it gives you a plethora of information, and it's fantastic. Um, I just kind of wish that... There was still stuff for me to like try to get at the end, even with when I got to that master rank. Maybe there's some like extra shit in the master rank of each class that you gotta build up and get. And you know, like just something that just keeps you keeps you going. And it's not just like you hit master rank, you're kinda done. <laughs> I mean, you can level up master rank or master it, right? You're master your master rank, but it takes fucking forever. And I found the skills that I got that defined which was mostly just defiant something or other, kinda sucked. <laughs> Seems like all of them were like that, actually. All the Master Rank ones had, like, Defiant Speed or Defiant something or other. So it's just, like, a little disappointing. But I liked the Defiant Pulse system. It was definitely, I think, a, a, a good way to implement uh, a system of just being able to hop back and, and redo something if it doesn't go your way or the RNGs against you. Because, look, good lord, lord knows this would have been a way harder and probably less fun experience if, it, if I didn't have that system. I like that because it does give me a chance to sort of experiment and not be like afraid that, oh, I just lost this character and they're gone forever. Unless I restart the game, this, the battle from the very beginning. That would have made this super unfun. And that's probably how it is in the earlier games, which would definitely need you have to be being very careful. But again, this game is so RNG that at some point you're just going to get fucked, right? The game's just going to fuck you and you can't do anything about it but restart. 
So I like it here. I think it was it was well done. And battles were still fun for the most part throughout. But I, I think it also just has me slightly worried that replaying the game uh, a second and maybe even a third time to get those other roots might make me start to like not like it as much or start to get kind of bored with the battles because I don't know how how good his longevity is. I mean, I'll be back to square one when I start again, but I mean, I've seen already now a lot of what the classes have to offer. Um, and I mean, the variety of classes you have, I don't know, it just seems like there's a there's a chance that it could get kind of dull after a bit, which is again why I feel like having the player go through it three times or potentially four times just to see and get all the information. I don't know if that was the best idea in this game. However, I will say, I, I know what the worst thing, uh, the worst aspect of this game was though, and that's easy. And it's 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 not something I, I really ever thought I'd bring up, especially in a big, massively like popular RPG. Um, I bet you the battle UI was fantastic, right? Like that's clearly been honed and refined over many, many years, but holy fuck, the out of battle menu and UI is God awful in this game. It makes no fucking sense. Why are battalions and abilities hidden under the item menu? Why like are is it do I have to go through menu upon menu just to get to see like specialties and shit is? It's like seriously, like I I got used to it after a while, but finding that in like the probably the first like 10 to 15 episodes of this game was like fuck, man. Like, unless you're probably a Fire Emblem buff by this point, it's going to be hard for anyone to find what they need in this game. And I wouldn't even be surprised if people have completed this game and didn't even realize the shit or information they were looking for in certain instances was there the whole time. It was under their nose. They just couldn't find it because it was under some weird random fucking menu item. Like, seriously, it's they have to go back for if they do another Fire Emblem game, they need to redo this menu system because like I... I this is something I even really thought I'd ever complain about, which just shows how nonsensical it is in this game. Shit is just all over the place. And he's like, oh, they need a hard refresh on this thing because like, I, like I'm like i shopping in a shop and I can't even see how many items I'm holding in the shop menu. Like, dude, we saw that shit fucking ages ago, all right? There were games on the SNES that fucking did that shit, okay? And you can't even do that here, Fire Emblem Three Houses? Are you kidding me? I also would have honestly appreciated some indication of like how close you were to leveling up someone's support. Like, I get why they didn't do it. They probably wanted to make feel make it feel more realistic, right? Like, they were not going by bars and experience bars here. We're doing it more organically and stuff and trying to make it sort of more of a mystery. But at the same time, I also just kind of wish I knew, right? You know, I just kind of wanted to know because I am building that up, right? I am building up the affinity. There is a, a hidden bar there. They're just not showing what it is because it would have just helped me plan things out. And this is a strategy game. You know, I want to be able to plan things ahead and figure out how close I am or if this next meal is going to get me to the next level. You know, I thought the artwork and the graphics of this game were very good for the Nintendo Switch. I mean, the, the, the resolution wasn't amazing by any stretch, but again, Nintendo Switch, they made do with what they had. Um, it all looked really good. And I think the other thing too is involving with the gameplay was the sort of the cycle you go through of going back to Garrick Mock every month. And that's the other thing that I sort of worry about, about going through another route is that you kind of have to go through all that again of just going back to Garrick Mach again and 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 again, right? And you don't really run anywhere else in the game. You just run around in Garrick Mach. That's the only time you're ever like free to do stuff that you want, but it's the same location, you know? It's not that big of a location either. Um, and the only thing you do is you talk to people, you can fish. Oh, and uh, the, the fishing mini game, by the way, also, whew, I don't want to have to do that anymore. <laughs> which is good because I think I probably hopefully won't have to. I think I heard people say that with Renown, I can buy back my levels and stuff if I do a new game plus. So hopefully I won't have to fuck around with fishing too much again. But I got fucking, I got, I must have fished a thousand plus fish in this game just to level my stuff, my stuff up, my professor level. And it got boring fast. But that just that same loop of going back to the Garrick Mach, I, I feel like, again, I, I was good for the most part. I, I got through because there was still an, enough interesting stuff in the game, but Going back through again, and especially with the first part being basically the same among all the roots, I do feel like that might start to grind on me a bit. You know, just like back to your mock, you know, just same place you always go to, doing the same shit, find this the little blooms going everywhere, do some far, do some harvesting, and 
fish some stuff, go eat the dining hall. And it, this is, I think, when you compare, like, Persona 5 and this game, because they are similar in that you get that same kind of loop going, right? You do stuff after school and stuff. This game definitely uh, pales in comparison to Persona 5, where I think this game's support system is, I think, actually better than even Persona 5's. I think Persona 5 definitely outshines this game in terms of variety of things for you to do, right? In between battles and stuff. I mean, you do so much shit in Persona 5. You never feel like you're bored or stuck doing the same shit, even though technically, yeah, it's like you go, you go to school, you do stuff, and then so you have to do something afterwards, but there's so much to do. There's so many different things to do and places to go and people to talk to and interact with. Not so much here, right? It's just kind of the same. And because Thankfully, the characters are, themselves are so engaging that it sort of makes up for it. But a, another playthrough, I don't know, could start to grind a bit. I will say there wasn't a whole lot of music in this game, honestly. Like, you basically heard a lot of the same tracks again and again, but it was very good music. Like, I, I can't get that one fucking Dimitri's, that one battle theme, the... And even just the main theme, you know, the reach for my hand, you know, like it's just fantastic. There, there's some really great battle themes in this game that uh, I'm glad to also now be able to hear in Smash Brothers as well. It seems like there's even more battle themes that I haven't heard yet, which are exclusive to different routes, which is awesome. But yeah, overall though, I mean, I do still have some things I, I'm a little like some qualms and th some things that I, I I think I've overlooked the first playthrough, but I, I still wonder would I feel that way after a second or third one. But for now, I think that this game is one of the best RPGs that I've ever played. Like, I think it is phenomenal, phenomenal. Just the, the amount of tiny details in this game and the intricate writing and clear love and dedication that went into making this story it's amazing it's like you play through it and you just feel it you can feel the effort they put into this like when you're going in there and you're changing someone's dialogue based on in, in the main story based on whether they have an a or an s rank and you know no like probably less than a percent of the players is ever going to know that happened right ever going to know that oh that changed that little bit just a just a tiny bit they didn't even have to do it right they're like felix's change of Hey, uh, this thing happened and of, Hey, go get them slugger and Hey, be the best boy you can be. Isn't even that different, but it's still, they still did it. They did it cause they fucking love these characters. They love this story and they want to fill this shit out and make it all like as shiny and pretty and interesting and different as much as possible and make each person's playthrough feel as unique and different as possible as much as they can with the setup of the story being as it is. I loved the fact too that like, I couldn't even believe when I got that shit where like, because Marianne had that one with, uh, I think was it Ash or another character support firsthand. And then uh, she talked to somebody else and that affected that one. Oh, it was Sylvain. That's right. Marianne had talked with Sylvain and then she had one with Ash, I believe, uh, support. And her interaction with Sylvain affected that. That shit blew my mind in so many ways and just made me go, this is the fucking best game ever. <laughs> That's amazing. Like, I love that, all right? When I see little details like that in these games, it makes me lose my shit because that just, that means that they just, they loved it, right? That means that the creators of the, of the game loved the fuck out of it as much as I'm loving the fuck out of it. You want to see that in developers, right? You want to see and feel that love that they have for their own product. And that's what I get for this game. As much as some things can feel samey, as much as the late game may not be like super great and some of the battles and the systems and going through the day-to-day -day thing can feel uh, very similar to one another, there's just so much like amazing writing in this game, fun, deep battle system, that even a clunky UI that, it, that makes it hard to find the shit you're looking for outside of a fight can't stop it from being an amazing RPG. And one that I am so glad that uh, you guys convinced me to look at. I am. I'm super thrilled that I checked this game out because it was just a joy to play through. It was, I mean, I played this game for like seven months, um, but I enjoyed every single episode of this game. And I do honestly look forward to coming back to this uh, at some point. And I, I, I think I will. I think I will come back at some point and check out the other routes after I've had some time to sort of uh, play some other stuff. You know, let's sit for a bit. Just that way I'm not so burned out. Um, I will probably actually check out the DLC, I guess, first, because apparently the stuff that you get in the DLC does actually 
can be used in the main story of the game. So I would probably start there and then hop into a new route. Um, I think I've actually heard people say Black Eagle's route is actually the shortest route of the game. So maybe it would work fairly well to have like some relatively short DLC and on top of the Black Eagle's route, then it would like build up to uh, as long as the other two routes, maybe. I, I don't know. I do want to learn more about the story. I do want to learn more about what like Edelgard's motivations were, what Claude's motivations were, what they were like. Um, all the other characters that I didn't get to know or on a deal, you know, on a one-to-one -one basis, I, you know, I do want to be able to learn more about their characters and see them interact with the characters that I do know really well, because I'm sure there's still tons of supports with like even the blue lions that, uh, I haven't seen with, uh, other people. I, th I think I'm, I'm pretty sure I didn't see like all the, uh, like supports like, let me go in here. So like Sylvain, we got female and also, yeah, we got Dorothea with him. Uh, Lorenz, Lysithia, Hilda, Leone, of course, all girls, right? I mean, Felix, uh, Dorothea as well. Lysithia, Leone. See, there's still so many supports I haven't seen. There are, it's, I can't believe how many are in this game. It is absolutely mind boggling and I love it. I just love it. It's so crazy. Dimitri's, uh, I think there's one. Yeah, the DLC. You guys told me about that. So I don't know if I can actually see any supports in the DLC or not. I I think that I think the way it works is like some like the DLC characters. I don't know if you see those supports in the DLC or if you just only see it in the main story. Like I think you like you beat the DLC and then I think you unlock the main the the, the, the characters for the main story. I think. I think that's what I was hearing about it. Hey, you see blue lines interacting with like Claude and stuff like Edelgard. Uh, blue lines interact with you. What? <gasps> That's interesting. There, not a single blue line interacts with Edelgard. That's wow. That's really interesting. Hmm. Wonder why that is. I guess for, like story reasons and uh, Ferdinand. I guess one with Mercedes. But anyway, uh, the point is, there's still a lot to see in this game. All right. Still a lot to uncover. Um, so uh, I will, don't expect it to happen like anytime super soon, okay? It's gonna probably be a few months before I'd ever come back and replay this game again to see other routes, but I, I would like to do it at some point. Just this one route, uh, I love this game. I thought it was fantastic. I love the blue lines. I love Dimitri. Love all of the funny little characters. And I look forward to potentially getting to know the ones that I brutally murdered in, in this room and didn't give two shits about. Fucking Lysithia, dead. Linhart, dead. Lorenz, dead. Dead, dead, dead. I think it'll also be kind of nice too, because going back through again, I would also get slightly different experience because I'll be able to, I think, I think you guys told me like you get renown, right? That you spend on the new game plus, uh, and just be able to, to use that and like unlock stuff early on and maybe move more quickly. Uh, through the game and uh, would, I don't know, just it will lead to a different experience, which will make it fun again. You know, it doesn't feel like just the same been there, done that kind of stuff. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy this Let's Play as much as I did. Enjoyed this game as much as I did because uh, I it really I, I can't stress enough how much fun I had with this game. It was a lot of work. It was a lot of work to 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 edit each of these episodes, um, but I still enjoyed it immensely. Um, if you did, please leave a like and a favorite. It really does help me out. And subscribe if you're not already become a Pinky Penguin. For this LP, where the days are always sunny and the vids are always funny. And, you know, make sure to stick around until I uh, come back to this game again, you know? Because um, I, I, I'm i pretty sure I will. I'm pretty sure at some point I will come back to this game. But we also have a lot of other great games coming out here very shortly, uh, which I am super excited about, including a game that I've waited like 23 years of my life to come out. And it's actually going to be getting released here in just like a few days like damn man I'm so excited but Sothis I look forward to seeing you again someday you just sleep on your little throne you wait there till I come back okay I'll probably if I do replay this game I'd probably replay as the as the girl um to also help mix things up a bit and the girl does get a lot of same sex uh relationships a lot more than the guy so uh you know if I ever did run to a, a problem with like I did with Dimitri I think it would actually be less of an issue than with her because like, let's say I did decide, oh man, Edelgard's the fucking greatest. Hey, I can hook up with her with female Byleth. No problems, all right? But anyway, guys, thank you so much for joining me on this epic fucking adventure. 
Um, and as always, Picky Penguins, till next time, guys, stay classy.